Outraged TikTokers urging fellow users to call their elected officials, including our next guest, to fight against a bill that would crack down on the CCCP, CCCP Tide app as it faces a House vote this week. So GOP Congressman Mike Gallagher chairs the House Select Committee on China, and he introduced the bill, and he joins us now. Congressman, thanks for being with us. Let's start with those videos. Have you received a lot of calls from people, um, as we've heard about, uh, constituents or kids upset about this potential bill? We have. Now, the good news is for those users of TikTok that our bill is not an outright ban as TikTok has been lying and telling its users. It is a forced divestiture. What we are requiring is that TikTok separate itself from Chinese Communist Party control, which would allow for a better user experience going forward. And the fact that TikTok forced a pop-up notification on all its users, had them enter in their zip code, and then automatically called their representatives. In some cases, TikTok kids threatening suicide on the phone with their representatives. One, impersonating one of my colleagues' son, shows you the dangers of this platform remaining right. under the control of ByteDance and the CCP. Imagine if we were voting on something like removing permanent normal trade relations from China or authorizing force to defend Taiwan, and TikTok was pushing lies to its users and interfering in the legislative content. They kind of proved the concerns for us in the way they handled this. I appreciate the clarification on what the bill would do, and I want to come back to that in just a moment, but another follow-up on the, the pushback. We talked about it yesterday. Uh, big GOP donor, Jeff Yass, billionaire, apparently owns $33 billion of TikTok. And apparently he as well, he denies this, I think, has been pressuring legislators. Have you had donors, have you had big billionaires pushing back on this bill? Uh, I personally have not. Uh, I've not been contacted by Mr. Yass. And what I would say to those who have a major financial stake in TikTok, Presumably, they would want TikTok to go public in America, not in Hong Kong. That's not going to happen under the current ownership structure. The only way you can make money off that investment, or the best way you could possibly make money off that investment, is if we have a separation, a surgery that removes the cancer from TikTok and saves the patient, and then they can all make money going forward. I, that's fine with me. I don't begrudge them that. My concern is foreign adversary control right. of what is increasingly the dominant news platform for Americans under the age of 30. Oh, no doubt. It's huge. But back to your bill now. In the clarification, you're not banning TikTok. You're trying to force the divestiture to take the CCP out of it. Is that possible? Because we hear about the algorithm. It's got back doors. It's used for privacy invasion, so forth. It's not, most suspect, it's not even a financial enterprise necessarily. The point of it isn't to make money, but it's to be a Trojan horse for all these other issues. So how do you get that out of TikTok? It's definitely technically possible or technologically possible. The real question is whether the Chinese Communist Party will allow it to happen, right? And I think if they resist, if the, if the algorithm remains on their version of an export control list, which it currently is on that list, that tells you something very fundamental about how they view this platform. To the point you suggested, it isn't just a way for ByteDance to make money. It's a means of influencing foreign societies. Xi Jinping has specifically talked about the power of short-form videos to propagate pro-CCP narratives and influence foreign societies. That is the heart of the concern. There's a separate concern about the app's ability to track your location, spy on you, but really I think the core concern is the opacity around the algorithm and the way in which it can manipulate certain information. We have mm -hmm. an outside analysis suggesting that when you compare it to Instagram, certain topics make no sense, topics that are unfriendly to the CCP tend not to appear on TikTok relative to Instagram. Um, I need to read this really quickly. Here's a statement from TikTok uh, regarding the unanimous House uh, vote, the House committee vote. This legislation will trample the First Amendment rights of 170 million Americans and deprive 5 million small businesses of the platform they re rely on to grow and create jobs. Your quick response. Well, I would urge users of TikTok to call the company's leadership and say, Break up with the Chinese Communist Party so your user experience can continue. And finally, it is not about speech. The authority in the bill does not penalize speech or behavior. It is about foreign adversary control, very narrowly defined, of American social media. That is the issue, not speech. All right. Congressman Mike Gallagher, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank you, sir. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.